It might have arms and legs like a human. It might have wheels like a car. Or it might even be just a mechanical arm. Whatever its shape, a robot is a machine that can do jobs on its own. The first robots were made in Europe. About 350 years ago, inventors designed extraordinary mechanical beings like these. They could move their arms and legs and even play musical instruments. But today, robots have become much more useful. Robots don't need lunch breaks. They never get bored and never daydream. And robots never complain or get tired or lazy either. They can do the same job over and over again without making mistakes. So now, many factories use robots instead of humans for jobs like welding or packing. By the year 2001, there will be over one million robots helping us in factories all over the world. Robots are also useful because they can go to places where humans can't survive, to do the jobs humans can't do. This robot can explore the bottom of the ocean, because unlike us, it doesn't need to breathe air. It's made with special watertight seals to stop water getting in, and uses underwater torches to see where it's going. It's helped underwater explorers discover more about the oceans and has even found new creatures that live on the seabed. This robot, called Sojourner, was sent to Mars because humans couldn't go there either. It worked in the very high temperatures on the planet's surface. Its robotic arm examined samples of Mars dust so that we could find out what the planet was made of and it sent pictures of Mars back to Earth. But it hasn't found any Martians yet. Did you know the robot that went to Mars can process 100,000 instructions a second? But what about robots at home? Imagine a robot that could sweep the floor, do the ironing or tidy your room. Hard luck though. It's going to be a few more years before a robot can do all this. There are some robots that help around the house today. This robotic vacuum cleaner can clean your carpets when there's no one at home by following a few simple instructions. As it cleans, it checks. Is the way in front clear? No? Then go left. Now is the way in front clear? Yes? Then go straight on. This way, it never bumps into anything or knocks anything over. But there's one thing it can't do. In the future, robots like this may well help us around the house. It may look as if there's someone inside this robot, but there isn't. It was designed to help humans do many different jobs, rather than just one, like the vacuum cleaner. It can walk, pick things up and climb stairs, but it still needs someone to program its actions. Danger, Will Robinson! Danger! Many science fiction robots are made to look a little like humans. They have arms, legs, and some even have faces, though not all of them look this friendly. Hello. Will you be my friend? Robot is online. Destroy, destroy, destroy. Oh, dear. But in real life, a robot's looks are designed according to the job that it does. 
Humans are the shape we are so that we can do all kinds of things. We can run, jump, skip, climb and swim. We can pick up different shaped objects. In fact, we use our hands in all sorts of different ways. Really useful robots may only do one job, and so they don't need a body with different parts. If a robot only ever picks things up, it only needs an arm with a specially shaped hand. It doesn't need legs or a head. The design of a robot is directly dependent on what it does. It, it's the same with a human. We are built in the way we are to do what we do, if you like. And for a robot, it's the same thing. So if you wanted a robot to play with a yo-yo, what do you think it would look like? With the yo-yo the robot, we've got a problem, that is to play a yo-yo. Now, we know how...